got it saying are you afraid that some someday a muslim will find you and harm you also what made you start to learn about islam uh, my friend i'm the last one who afraid of somebody to find me and who said to you muslim don't find me i'm very well known trust me they knew everything about me especially countries uh, you know uh, 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 i publish my books with my uh, on amazon i have my books copyrighted by my name so if you think i'm not known you are mistaken secondly i fear nobody I'm a person who likes to be private. I don't like to be in camera. I don't like the celebrity, the celebrity thing, you know. Uh, I enjoy it this way. I'm not seeking, you know, people to know me. I don't care. But if people know me, who care? I fear nobody. I'm the last one who fear death. Since I was a kid, you know, if if I if I mention things I went through, I mean, you 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 will be terrified. I never ever felt insecure. I joined the army. I've been in war. I am very well trained. I carry guns since I was a kid. I have nothing to do with Muslims. Uh, this is this is how I I grow. So some people like to be famous with their image, their picture, interview. Like now, if I am a person who go in camera, there's many TV shows will invite me. But because I don't, they will not. I've been offered many opportunity to be in TV show, but they want me to, you know, I said, no, I don't do that, you know. Sorry. But there's many people, they would love it because simply that will make you famous, will even bring you a lot of money, you know. Uh, but I don't, and I don't care for that. So people who think that I am uh, worried about people to harm me, if I'm worried about people harming me, I will never speak one word. Why I want to do that? If you are a, you know, if you are a coward, you will never dare to open your mouth against Muhammad. This is not the guy you want to play with, you know. He's the devil. So, being coward and speaking against Muhammad, it doesn't fit. They don't work. I was in Pal Talk 20 years ago, sadly. I was in a group bashing and cursing Muslims. Well, I don't know. You don't feel too much guilty about it because Muslims, they bash Christians too. So you were a Muslim at that moment anyway. You were practicing Islam even though you were a Christian. <clears throat> the purpose of education is the moment you need it. True and false, because education simply, it's a supplement for happiness, which means it's every moment. You know, education is not about, again, it's not about profession. Like I have, a, I have my degree in law, right? I can work as a lawyer or as a judge, but that does not give me pleasure. It doesn't. What gives me pleasure is, the knowledge, the ability to answer, the ability to, uh, uh, you know, to help people. It's, it's, it's a different joy. So the moment you need it is every moment because a human being without education is different than a human being. Education changes you. This is why a person who is educated is different from people or a person who's not. And usually, as, as we said, education is not about a degree, but degree can be, let us say, uh, like an extra, especially if it's not in the topic which is, will, will support the education you are seeking. Like, you know, in my case. So if I study law, I have to study Islamic law, Christian law, Judaism, civil law, and that all will lead you to be uh, uh, educated about the law. But in order to do that, then you have to study the religions. So in this case, the education serve the purpose with a degree, because both of them, they support each other. Other profession, no. Other profession, if you are an eye doctor, your specialty is only the eye. You don't even any, know anything about teeth. You are not, uh, you know, you are just an eye doctor. So 
there is a profession and there is education and usually they are not the same senator mendoz he got uh, receiving gifts from qatar well all those uh, senators and congressmen they are fraud i just saw a report that our congressmen in the state they made a fortune of one billion dollar sorry one billion yeah i think one billion i'm not sure really the number i forgot maybe more i don't know yeah uh from the stock market it turned to be all our congressmen and senators are very heavy investor in the stock market <laughs> why because simply they have an information we don't have about stocks so they never lose so this is telling you this is a kind of corruption too this is why until now the congress refuse to ban congressmen and senators from investing in the stock market during the time they are in the job why because simply they are there for that purpose if you take it away from them they will not it's like you know those people who go in youtube and uh, they have the monetize uh, option a super chat if you take that super chat what will happen anyone can tell me if you take the super chat from some who come to to youtube supposedly they are muslims or christians if you take that super chat from them what will happen they will not come they will stop coming to youtube is that correct in fact without mentioning names some of them because monetizing is gone from their chat they stop coming totally to youtube i'm not going to say the name so uh, are you here coming to teach about uh, to fight and to, to 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 do the right thing or you are here for the money obviously you are here for the money so the congressman is the same if you stop them from investing in the stock market they will not be in the congress because simply by being in the congress companies they have to share secrets with the congress and we're talking about the huge companies not uh, somebody making falafel so you take the super chat from those people who they are in uh, in youtube They will stop coming to YouTube. I have in Rumble, in Rumble, if I go right now in Rumble, you can donate to me. In Rumble, you can donate, by the way. I don't go there. I went only once to Rumble. And then the first thing, you know, I, uh, I I got it's a donation so if I'm a person who is seeking donation I will never come to YouTube I will say okay you guys you want to you know I'm, I'm, I will be there because there I can make money here I make no money again it's about controlling the wolf inside you this is what was our topic today. The wolf inside you will tell you to get more, to make more. You buy a new car, a big house, etc. The wolf, he need, you know, you need to feed the wolf. So either you are a person who is satisfied and you are happy with what you have, regardless if it's too much or little, or you will never be satisfied. uh isaac is asking me what job you do well as you see isaac uh my job is to laugh at people who say stupid things like you so isaac isaac he come here and he's asking christian prince what job you do so what is the job i do now and what the word job mean for you do i have to get paid for a job there is people who get paid there's people who don't so right now I'm doing a free job for you, Isaac. So you stop being stupid 
asking stupid questions. So now let me ask you, Isaac, what job you do when you come to listen to me? What is the job you are doing? I will give you three options. Are you a fool who is listening to me and you are not listening because all what you focus about is about what job I do? You give me questions that are so silly and so stupid. Since you came here, Isaac, you said nothing except stupidity. Are you a Muslim, Isaac? So what do you think, Christian Prince, he do? I write books. Is that okay for you? Do you allow me? I write books. I teach. I am Christian Prince. I hope that is okay for you. <laughs> I hope, Your Excellency, you will not be upset with the job I do. All right. In fact, the job we do is very important. If our priests are doing their job, I will not be here. If our churches, our priests, our bishops, they are doing their job, Christian prince have no need. But we have a zero priest. You know what zero is? Zero doing what he should do. When the last time you have a priest sitting with you and discussing something serious? You go, you go to any channel, they open for you a page. Okay, let's open Luke. They read a verse and they start making, giving you a speech about the verse. But this is the verse he is making a speech about, he is reading a book about it. Which means even the lecture he give you about a verse is not even his words. They never speak about something serious in your life. They never discuss your needs in your life. They never discuss argument and debate and cult you face in your life. And the result of that, we have zero education between the Christians. I would love to hear a debate between you and Rabbi Yusuf. I don't know who's Rabbi Yusuf, but anyone is welcome to call me. Let him call me. I don't know who's he. So you're drinking water. <laughs> what do you think about Mar Mari? I don't know him. I I saw a video of him because a Muslim was refuting him. So I made a video about that. That's all. I don't know about anything about the guy. He's good, he's bad, I don't know. <clears throat> As the Lord, he says, you know them from their fruits. So if you have a good fruit, he's a good guy. Who am I to judge? We judge from the fruits. Right? Uh, all right. Yeah, Isaac, you know, you have to be careful, you see. First of all, there is a question you should not ask. You know, Isaac, how old are you? Are you like six years old? So a person going in public form like YouTube, do you think I'm going to tell you everything about my life? In fact, let me share this with you. People who go in public forms and they start talking about their private life, I'm talking about really private life. They are immature. Because this is the business of nobody. And it doesn't help him. It doesn't help the society. So a guy, he have a fight with his wife. He starts talking with everybody. Why do you want to tell everybody? What is the business of the people? Why do you want to put your laundry everywhere? If you are in the internet, for a purpose, and the purpose is to serve the Lord, and you are not the point of interest, then don't put yourself in the point of interest, otherwise you are seeking it. And then people will laugh at you, because now people, they will get involved in your private life. Some, they support you, some, they make fun of you. All because you share something you should not share. 
a person he have a fight with his son he go he post in facebook my son today why i mean now everybody his his nose is in the story what what you why you want to do that so when you ask a question to somebody if you know already that he is very private and he is wise then he will never give you the answer which is not wise to ask so don't ask private questions because it's not of your business don't put your nose in a place you might get you a bad smell I'm not like others so if you are here to investigate you are being stupid so you are roasted for being stupid not because you are smart I think in the religion I live uh, region I live in it's not really church which would baptize my non denomination okay I will get baptized when I move to other country and no you can get baptized in any church no problem because baptism is not about the church it's about God get baptism you know let us say you there's an Orthodox Church go get baptism there Catholic or Protestant who care that's not important you know the important is the baptism itself you receive it from God not from the man so this is not a reason not to get baptized my friend you or your child so don't think in such a way I don't receive my blessing from man I receive my blessing from God when I get baptized <clears throat> Ex-Muslim Yasmin Sadiq in the chat is asking what she should what should she do if she become homeless for being ex-Muslim in heart. She is asking for your advice. You know, we cannot give speeches about what you should do. I mean, talk is cheap, right? I can say to you, God will provide you uh, but you know, this that mean you don't know. I mean, God will not pay for your internet, right, or your electricity. Uh, God will not pay for your food. So here we have to be realistic. But the question is, why I would be homeless because I become an ex-Muslim? Don't I have hands? Can't I work? I will become homeless only if I am depending on somebody else. And when I change that person he cut the faucet on me so the problem is not you or even islam the problem that you are depending on somebody else are you with me the lady who said she afraid to be homeless for leaving islam i will not be homeless because i am leaving islam i will be homeless because i depend on somebody I will tell you what happened to me when I was less than 18 years old. My dad, he wanted me to go and study to be a doctor. I hate hospitals. Even now, if I get sick, I don't go. I mean, I, I will not go to, to a hospital. I mean, if, even if it's something serious. So he wanted me to be a doctor. I said no. He said, if you don't, I will never give you a penny from now on. I wasn't even 18. Since then, until this day, I never took a penny from my dad. I pay for my food, for my house, and for everything in life when I was a kid. So let us measure things. Let us say my dad was a Muslim, thank God he was not. He was a good man. But he wanted the best for me in his understanding. He's an old-fashioned guy. You know, he think being a doctor is the best, eh, what you can do. So if I don't follow his wish, I receive nothing. And this is exact what happened. I know, I know him. He don't, he keep my, his words. He's, he's a man of his words. His word is a contract. And my word is a contract too. So he said no. I said no. Never took a penny from him again. I never asked for a penny. Why? Because then I decide to depend on myself to support myself. So why you want to depend on somebody else to support you? 
you will never be homeless unless you are a person don't want to give the effort to support yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You will not be homeless. Work. Support yourself. Be strong. In fact, freedom have a price. And the first of freedom is not to be dependent on somebody else to pay your bills. When somebody pay your bills, you have no freedom. When somebody pay their, your bills, he or she choose your clothing, your food, where to go, where not to go. So buy your freedom. And your freedom is when you are not depending on somebody else. What if you are a sick CP? There is no safety net in America. I was a lawyer just starting my career. When I got sick, my whole life was taken from me. I don't know what you mean by getting sick. You know, if you get sick, let us say you are unlucky. Let us say you have cancer. You die. So what? Yeah. Okay, die. Let me tell you this. Once I woke up, uh, I was like, I was scratching my side. And then I felt there is something big in my side. Like suddenly, man, what is that? It's like, like a potato. and so hard. Really, really hard. I, I pulled down my short and I found something brown, big like a potato in the side of my leg. In my mind, I said, okay, that must be cancer, you know, because I heard that it can happen like this suddenly. I did not go to hospital. I did not cry. I did not, ah, okay, cancer, cancer. I'm not an expert. I don't know. I mean, what is it? I have no idea what is this. I mean, I woke up, it's there. I have no idea until now what, what is that, you know? I did not go to a doctor. I did not get worried. I don't even care. All what I care, I don't like it. Then it's gone. It's gone by itself. It's gone by itself. It's gone by itself. How? I don't know. But based on uh, in, uh, reading in the internet, all article says, this is cancer. Very high possible. It's cancer. Did I go panic? Did I go crazy? No. No, okay. I did not go to a doctor. I did not even try to check a doctor. I just check in the internet to see, and I look at pictures, and then after that, I say, whatever it is, it is. You know? It's gone. It came by itself. It's gone by itself. Uh, maybe if it's painful, very painful, maybe I will seek a doctor because it's annoying, but it was not. So... You might be the person that is saying you have little luck with health. And then every one of us have different luck with health, let us say. There is some they die in a very young age. There is some they stay healthy even they are really old. There is some they die at the age of two. Some they die at the age of 20. Some, you know, the human being is exposed to all kinds of things. The most important thing is to be happy until the last moment in your life. Even if you are sick, even if you are dying, nobody can steal your happiness away from you. And happiness is something you feel inside you. It's not by medicine you take. It's not by somebody giving you a speeches. It's about a balance of understanding of life and death. You know, there is a, a story about a, a, a monk The monk is dying. He's very old. So they brought a doctor to him to check him out. <laughs> and then the doctor, he came out and he said to the other monks, I think your brothers, he lost his mind. They said, why? He said, I just told him, you know, maximum you have a few hours to live. Then he gave me a smile. 
as if I said nothing to him. You know, actually he's happy. So they said, why don't ask him why he's happy? You just told him he's dying, you know. So he went inside and he told him, if you can't talk, I just told you, you have a few hours to die, maybe one hour, maybe five minutes, I don't know. But you give me a big smile. Why you look so happy? So the monk, hardly able to speak, he said, well, I am serving the Lord all my life, and now you are telling me you are going to meet him in a few hours. So what do you want me to do? I'm so happy. So this is the bend in your journey in life. You should know that you are born to die, not the opposite. If you understand that very well, then death will never be something scary for you. Death is a scary for someone who don't understand why he's born. We are born to die, not the opposite. And if you are a believer, then you believe that death is just a new start it's a new life. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So, if you are a believer, then death means nothing for you. Actually, it's a, it's a better place. Again, it's about how we see things and how we understand things and then how we can control what's happening to us. I cannot control death. Death can come to me anytime, any second, maybe now. But I can control my happiness and how I feel about it. Either I'm going to be terrified, scared. If I am an atheist, I have no hope. I feel like, okay, life is taken away from me. That's it. I'm not going to see this no more. All those things around me, I'm not going to see them. I would be dead. Or I'm a believer. I believe that death isn't really nothing. You know, I'm just a believer. And uh, there is a better place than this place where we will be with the Lord. It might be... You know, some atheists, they think about us, we are dreamers, we are having a fantasy, a stupid fantasy. But even if it's a stupid fantasy, still it feels good. You die and you are happy. Better than someone, you don't have a fantasy as they claim, but they will die terrified. <clears throat> However, we us, for us, we believe it's not a fantasy, we believe it's reality. <clears throat> All right. Where in the Bible it says, goal of life is to be happy. Maybe stick to Islam where you experts is. I don't know, V. I think what you just said is very stupid. The whole Bible is about to be happy. Guys, who agree with this idiot? Sorry, I'm, I have to call you an idiot. When God created Adam and Eve, did he put them in the garden and he provide them with everything they need so they can be happy? Is that correct, guys? Why it was a garden with everlasting life if it's about sadness? <laughs> so V, you are just an idiot. Stick, stick your testicles somewhere out of here. Don't come here. You are just a potato trying to, like, you want to show us that you are smart and you know better? The whole Bible is about being happy. The wage of sin is death. Is death something happy? So when Adam died, he was happy, or when Adam having promised the eternal life in heaven, which one is happy? You are just an idiot. You know, uh, V, you are a person who present for me a diarrhea. Like, you know, people, they have a good meal. And then there is a guy, he, you know, he flip his ass in the table and he starts farting. Don't come here again. You are just an idiot. Stick to Islam, Christian Prince. Since when the Bible is about being happy? <laughs> the whole Bible is about being sad if you are away from God. You are just a donkey, certified one. And now you're additional to be a donkey. I made your ass red like a monkey. The whole Bible is about being happy. Everything in it. Re you rejoice. With, if, if we go right now and search for the word rejoice in the Bible, how many words will we have? Joy. 
I mean, people are stupid. Stupidity is amazing. I am the only one who uses such a term, even though English is not my first language. Stupidity is amazing. I find it amazing. I mean, look, God, he created man. He gave him brain. So all of us, we have a brain, right? And then you got this guy, V, Christian Prince. So since when the Bible is about being happy? So what the Bible is about being sad, brother? So Jesus, he came to the world to make us sad. Is that what the Bible is about for you? Hmm? Do you have a tissue with you? Did you like to make a video of yourself crying 24 hours because the Bible teaches you to be sad? I don't know if this V is a male or female, but I say to you, don't get married, whoever you are. I mean, your spouse will commit suicide, obviously. Uh, I think I will give up my question. Uh, why, Kermit? Are you a V? And why you are worried about being insulted? If your question is valid, who cares about people insulting you? But maybe you are afraid that your question is stupid and you are being stupid. That's why you are afraid of being insulted. But if your question is wise and then they insulted you, that means they are stupid, not you. There is nothing called Wahhabi and Salafism. This will not exist. There's not, nothing is called Wahhabi. This is just a joke. Uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, he is one of the, you know, the helpers of the first king of Saudi Arabia to establish his kingdom. All what he did, he says, we follow the prophet. That's it. So what, what does Wahhabi mean? There's nothing. There's no, there's no such a thing. What was the question? I don't, I did not see the question. What was the question of Kemet? I don't know. <laughs> I would like to find out more about Syriac and Syria now. Where you do suggest me to start reading from? Well, there is a book, it's called The History of the Church. I forgot the name. I know the name of the book, but I forgot the name of the author. Maybe you can search for it and you can find because it have a lot of history about that territory. <clears throat> what are we to do as a Christians? What that? What? What do you mean, Shiano? I'm not sure what the question is. <clears throat> All right. Somebody saying maybe happiness is not our target, but uh, following Jesus. No, no, no. You see, following Jesus is about being happy too. Who said, you know, the whole Bible is about rejoicing with the Lord. You know, isn't it the Lord, he says, happiness in the kingdom of heaven for one soul is saved? Is that true? So the whole idea of saving souls is about happiness, even for God. So God in heaven, he himself, seek happiness. How? By saving you. He loves you. Which means it's about love, and love brings happiness. That's why the Bible says love never fails. So those who claim and they say, hey, since when in the Bible it's about uh, seeking happiness, that is a stupid statement. 
do you really, uh, recommend Robert Spencer to study Quran? I cannot say yes, I cannot say no. I never read his books. I don't know. I cannot judge the guy book without reading the book. That would be silly. But I say that I heard Robert Spencer many times, and he said many uh, uh, wrong things. As an example, like we are now talking about Syria, Robert Spencer, he said, Syrian are the Arab. Since when? That's absolutely wrong, false. Syrian are the Syrian. This is their name, Syrian. They are not Arab. They are Arab. Their language is Syriac. But maybe he meant now, I don't know, but the, the Syrian are not Arab. They are not. <coughs> uh, I, <laughs> I found that most of people who don't know Arabic, they make a lot of mistakes. You see, the key to know that area is either to know Arabic or to know the Syriac language. In fact, knowing the Syriac is extremely important because by knowing the Syriac, you can open a lot of mystery in Arabic language. For Arabic language is based on the Syriac, which means if you know both languages, you have a treasure. If you speak Arabic very well and you know Syriac very, uh, very well, then you can open the treasure and that will help you way better to expose Islam. <laughs> Syrian is what the Roman called the Assyrian. That's false. Syrian is the people of Syria, not Assyrian. There's a big difference between Syrian and Assyria. <laughs> Syria, Assyria. <laughs> Hmm. All right. All right. So Arabic is a broken Syrian. No, no, Arabic is not a broken Syrian. Arabic is born of other languages. Most of it is coming from the Syriac language. Arabic is a collection of languages. So in Arabic, you will find Ethiopian words, Greek words, uh, Syriac words, uh, Persian words. Arabic is, is a very, very horrible mix of languages. <clears throat> but there's a lot of mystery in the Quran right now can be solved by knowing the Syriac language. Because I believe that the oldest Quran never was in Arabic. The more I study, the more I read, the more I know, I, I am more convinced that what, what the person, his name is Muhammad, never existed in Arab person, obviously. And the Quran never was in Arabic. Actually, the word Quran is not an Arabic word. The word Quran obviously is coming from the Aramaic. Qara'u, qarra wara'a, which means he, he, you know, he said what he saw. He said what he saw. What, the, what, what Muslim they say, Muhammad he claims, supposedly, that he recite Quran. But you cannot say Quran is a recitation because it's, it's, it's not. Qarra wara'a. So you have to see something to read it. And Muhammad did not receive reading. Muhammad received hearing. He heard the angel supposedly. And then he just repeat after him. So the word Qira'a or Quran does not fit with the nature of the story or the, let us say, the story itself. Can you speak Aramaic? No, I cannot. I know little, but not enough to say I speak. Very little. <clears throat> the little I know is about uh, things I study, about certain words, certain sentences, like going deep, deep, dive inside them to know what they mean. Uh, but I don't speak the language. <coughs>
All right. What do you think about similarity between description of Lucifer as son of Dawn and Allah? Hmm. You see, it's not about description. It's about the ethic and the value. Otherwise, sometimes we use the same word for God. We use it for Satan. Like, don't we call God God? And don't we call Satan the God of this world? Yeah. So the word God can be used for either the true God or for the Satan. But what the difference is? Satan is Satan. God is God. It's not the it's not the word. <clears throat> Do you think word will spread spread and Damascus goes 2024? You know, war can spread only if people who have the the power they decide to spread it. And those usually is uh, you know like uh, countries like America, Russia. Not, not those little tiny ones. Like now, if Iran decide to go in war, I mean, they are no match. They will be smashed. So their war can go for maybe a year, you know, but uh, they are not the one who can cause a massive war. Even they think about themselves as giant, but they are not. <clears throat> Do you put teaching of a Christ into the lives how do you <laughs> put the teaching of Christ into the life of ourself in practical I cannot teach you that you have to do it yourself you know this is what we were talking about today you can watch from the beginning but the only one who can teach a person how to follow Christ is you because anything will be said to you if it's not within your side, like your heart. It's not, that's it. It's just words come from your ear, from here, come out. So to do as a Christ said, I will summarize it for you with one sentence. Isn't it Jesus said to the women, go and sin no more? That's it. If you want to live with the Christ, go and sin no more. If you practice this one sentence of a Christ, you are a wonderful Christian. And you were able to do amazing accomplishment, even without reading the, the Bible, even without having PhD in religion and studying, go and sin no more. Do we keep the Ten Commandments? Absolutely. We just said, go and sin no more. What the Ten Commandments about? It's about not to sin. In the Bible, there's way more than Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments is the major like point of, uh, of let's say, uh, uh, a guideline, but there's way more but all of it it's summarized in go and sin no more <clears throat> when i ask muslims in indonesia what is allah they always say allah is the zat that the claim word mean nature essence you know, the, uh, I, I find those Muslims in Indonesia, or, or especially those countries who don't know the, the religion or the language, when they say uh, such a thing, it's just, a, it's, 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 it's just because they are more confused than others. What that? You know, uh, if you go right now to the dictionary and you try, to find out what this uh, uh, the word that mean or the essence of it you will find that according to the quran uh, allah don't have uh, don't have a soul he don't have a, 
uh, let us say a spirit sorry that would be better he is not a spirit and he have no spirit yet in the Quran it says that Allah he sent his spirit so he don't have a spirit but he sent his spirit so the spirit he is something he owned but he is not a spirit in the same time <clears throat> Uh, when the Muslim they try to talk uh, or they speak about the word that you know uh, it's very silly because uh, this God have no nature in order to have such a, a essence he have no nature what is the nature of Allah if you ask any Muslim what is the nature of Allah what is Allah they don't know As an example, when the Quran says Allah, He rose above the throne. Okay, so the nature of that God is it a nature of something physical, move from place to place, or it doesn't? Muslim don't dare to answer. But if you read it, you will see He is moving obviously from place to place. In, to, in fact, He is sitting on the chair. And the second you ask them about that, they say nobody knows anything about Allah. As the Quran says, Wala min ilmihi. They do not know anything about him except what he told them. And what Allah he told them, nothing. So the Muhammadan, they use words just to, let us say, uh, to avoid the question. Like what, what that mean? What is that Allah? Or the essence of Allah? No, they don't know. They don't know. If you go in the Quran, you will find this. In chapter 2, verse number 25, 255, it says they know nothing about Allah. This is the shape from yesterday. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, hi. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. So you are the shaker who called me yesterday, right? Yes. So why you think you are a shaker? What is your qualification? I teach uh, students. You teach students? Yeah, online. Where in the mosque? Online. Oh, you teach a student online. So, what is your education, if you don't mind, to share with us, Sheikh? Yeah, from India. Yeah, but what are you, what is your education? I got masters of Islamic studies. In what exactly? Islamic studies. I know. In what exactly Islamic study? Like what you study? Islam about Islam history okay. all right as, as long you are a person who study Islam and history so uh, I want to ask you about we, we were talking about the nature of Allah what is the nature of Allah well the problem is that you can you cannot uh, uh, know the nature what is not revealed it's not what what is not revealed, like it's nothing like anything to compare. What does have to do? Okay, so are you saying to me we cannot compare Allah to anything? Yes. So why Allah, he compare himself to things? He give to make things easy for us to understand a little bit, but you cannot. But, but a second ago, you said you cannot compare Allah to anything. And then you are saying to me, Allah compare himself to things. Yes, he can do it, but he cannot. Ah, uh, so can I compare Allah to a tree? Not, you know. No, I cannot? No. So, but Allah, he compare himself to a tree? Yeah, he can. He. Okay, but if, look, look what you just said. So, I cannot compare Allah to a tree, but Allah himself, he compare himself to a tree. So, obviously, Allah is telling us that he is compared to a tree. So it doesn't matter who, who compare him, who is not. Allah, he is compared to a tree. So now what is the difference between a tree and Allah? 
it's not it's the not same. same. It's like, for example, uh, that when Allah compare himself to a tree, he's giving an example of some particular, uh, like what he's doing at the moment. It's not really saying that Allah is like a tree. Ah, uh, okay. What he's doing in the moment? Like he's giving example. For example, you do something. Uh, yani, let's say I. A teacher is giving example of um, mathematics. Doesn't mean whole maths can be compared to something. It's an old science, but you okay. can compare a particular equation. All right, I will go with you. So when Allah, He say He is the same as a light in a niche. What is the light present and what is the niche present? Go ahead. It's like not the whole nature of Allah. It's saying uh, if if you wanna if you wanna look at like if you want to know some nature of Allah, you can see as uh, like how light is uh, scat scatters all over the place, even though it's so small. Yeah, but what is the niche? What is the niche to Allah? Is Allah is is Allah is in a niche? No. Okay. So why Allah saying His light is the same as a light in a niche? I, I don't understand. What is a niche? Uh, niche is uh, like uh, you know uh, uh, a candle hole in the wall. Like you know, in the old days, they have like uh, something to carry candles to put them on it. You know. Yeah, he's giving example. It's not like comparison. It's more like an example of something. Hmm. But but, but you're but, a Christian, but so if, I can. But if but if but if the example does not make sense, then the example. So uh, that's what I'm saying. So is Allah is an edge. Is Allah is is Allah within a lamp? Is Allah is in a in a glass? No, 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 no. It's just an example. It's like saying, like I said, a mathematics. You can give an example of in an equation, but it doesn't mean the whole maths is that Allah is bigger than that. It's just a particular. Is giving like you know. No, there's so if many. I, if I say okay, if I say Allah is like a dog. What I is this? What is what? what what is the similarity with that? I mean, why I'm saying the word dog if there's no similarity? So you, what you are saying about mathematics doesn't make sense. So if no, Allah, no. if Allah describe Himself, His His light like a light in a niche, that means there is similarity in the description. Why He chose niche? Why He chose within a lamp? Why He said the lamp is in closed glass? And then why He says like we're a blind, a brilliant star? And then why He said a, in in a tree? And it's uh, in an uh, olive tree, you know. So why olive tree? Yeah, it's given an example for that people. They understand that example. But we understand nothing. Uh, just what so I'm saying you. So you see, I'm asking you, what does that mean? You say to me, this is example, example. But you didn't tell me what the example. Okay, what is the relationship between Allah and the olive tree? Re read it from the Quran. What it says. You are a sheikh. You do not know what it says. I guess I teach children. Online. So, so you are a sheikh who teach children, but you do not know what the verse is saying. I'm talking about. Uh, it's not on top of my head at the moment. Uh, and you have masters in the Islam. Islamic history, yeah. Uh, Islamic history. Okay, you know what? I will go with the Islamic history then. Forget about this. You're a prophet. He kissed the black stone. Why? He had. Wahi, that is say sacred. I mean, there's a lot of sacred things in the world. And ah, the it's a secret thing. I thought this is uh, something sacred, easy to answer. Sacred. What do you mean sacred? How it's a sacred, secret? Sacred, sacred, sacred. Sacred, ah, sacred. Okay, what is sacred about kissing the black stone? Go ahead. It's like Allah gave gave some something for remembrance. What remembrance? So you are kissing a stone to remember what? To to like. Say this is the the God that we worship. It's like you're not worshiping anything. The black else. stone. Like, the by kissing the black stone, you are worshiping yes. God. No, you're not worshiping God by uh -huh. kissing it. You're. It's it's like you're showing your respect. Respect that to whom? It's like uh, it's like Re I give you a gift. Res or respect to or... respect to whom? Well, I'm giving you. Let me give you an example to explain it. Like your 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 father gives you 
let's say uh, a watch and then you remember your father you let's say he, he you know it's your tradition that you kiss the watch or you do certain to uh, do certain uh, yani what you call it yani yani my friend yeah, yeah. according to umar al khattab he said the black stone neither harm or have yeah, a benefit do you agree with him yeah, he said that. I mean, it's his understanding. It, it doesn't harm or anything. It's just a remember. So like, why you are showing respect. Okay. You keep saying to me, just remember. Remember what? Who is our God? It's like you. What uh, the black stone have to do with your God? Well, because he gave us this stone. It's not. Why Allah, like, he gave you. Why Allah, he gave you the stone? To remember him. Where, 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 where in the Quran it says Allah He gave you a stone to remember Him? Can you show me? Well, there is like two. That's that's uh, what I was trying to say. It's like hadiths are, are different than Quran. Quran is more like a command from what we should do. Uh, if we do not kiss the stone, it doesn't mean you will go to hell. It's just it's something extra. Uh, extra. It's I like extra. I like extra things. Okay. Is it true that your prophet he said that the black stone is going to have? tongue and eyes and going to speak in the day of judgment those are more like metaphorical like uh, you know how you say that ah, even the, uh, metaphorical. so your prophet was so your prophet was lying this is not real it's not it's not lying it's like saying that earth will commit adultery it's not like the earth will you know start having sex with another no 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 don't don't copy things from the bible this is in the bible not in the quran no well, i'm the quran just giving that. example like it's no like no you can no you like... cannot you cannot give me example from a book it's not your book same time there's nothing to compare we are talking about a real stone physical stone not a metaphorical stone so the stone is there it's in the shape of a vagina it is in the kaaba muslims go around it consider it a holy stone even your prophet he said correct me if i'm mistaken i heard this that if you touch the black stone, it erases your sin. Is that correct? See, that's debatable. But but according to the what do you mean? Are you yes. are you are you debating your prophet now? What do you mean debatable? No no no. no, no. Um, there are certain hadiths you have to. I mean, like the Quran is infallible. You cannot. But but certain hadiths you can you can say maybe it has a more meaning to it. It has a deeper meaning to what ah, is saying. Ah, okay. So uh, Islam is not a religion which is not uh, as a as a preserved, uh, obviously, because you are saying to me that the major part of Islam is debatable because most of Islam is in the Hadith. Uh, yeah, that's why we have so uh, people created a lot of the Hadiths too. So uh, they created okay. their sex. But isn't it the Quran itself is a Hadith? It is a hadith from Allah. That's different than no, no. It's not a hadith from Allah. The Quran says this is hadith from Muhammad. It, well, Allah put the words in like uh, it's like you know it's like direct speech through no. some, through a medium versus just somebody else is saying. It's like a hadith. Okay, focus with talking. me. Focus with me. Yeah. If if Muhammad he said this is the word of Allah. That means Muhammad he received the word from Allah and he said those words to us, correct? Yeah. Okay. If Muhammad he says this is my words, then this is not the word of Allah. Do we agree? If he says that it's it's my it's my saying, it's my ideas, then no. No, I'm asking you, listen carefully. Yeah. If I say this is the words of an of, of a of a prophet, is it a word of prophet or the word of God? I mean, it it like the voice was coming out of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mouth. So, I mean, it you have to give a more context to it. Okay, the whole context is this is the statement, the saying of a noble prophet. Yeah. Is it an? Is, is that mean? No, it is read, the, read the read the whole verse, like from you know. Uh, this is the whole verse. This is the whole verse. It is the statement of a noble prophet. So there should be more context to it. It's just you're reading it by itself, then. Okay. There is no. Okay, you can read. Okay, do you know even what I'm I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, what I'm talking about, tell me. I mean, like I said, I don't know on top of my head what... Ah, uh, so you are a teacher who is a sheikh, and you have a master degree in Islamic studies, but everything I say to you, you don't, it's not in the top of your head. I mean, I, I studied in India. We studied ah, in okay. India. Like, I don't okay. read for Arabic. me. Read for me chapter 69, verse number 40. You have it on your screen? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Wait, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What you see? You there? Yeah. Read for me. Go ahead. Uh, no, I mean, uh, give like uh, go back a little bit. Uh, like, you can read. No problem, my friend. You do not need my screen. You can read ten verses before and ten verses after. You know, the Quran is a stupid book. There's there's no connection between verses before it and verses after it. You know that. There's no connection. Read it. Okay, give so now me, it says this is the, this is verily this is verily the word of an honored messenger. Well, what give words? Me, give me the the Quran. No, give me the words. What was the surah? I just told you, chapter sixty-nine, verse number forty. Sixty-nine, forty. Hold on. I know it was about uh, a specific statement. Uh huh. Very specific. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yes, well, they were destroyed by overwhelming blast. 40. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh-huh. Stay then. Because like certain verses are like talking about specific things. It's not like the whole Quran is that. No, it says the talk, this is describing for the Quran, description for the Quran. This is the words of an honored messenger. Okay, who is the messenger? You say a recitation of a noble messenger. It doesn't say. It doesn't say a recitation. It says well, this is the words. Of what the translation I'm reading is says is the indeed the Quran is a recitation of a noble messenger. Okay, hold on. In Arabic it says, do you know Arabic? Read it for us if you know Arabic. Go ahead, I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes. Remember, remember you have a remember you have a master degree in Islamic studies, so you know. Well, I we study. I said in Hindi we study the. Uh, uh, you are the same as Sheikh Uthman. He do not know, he claimed that he have a master degree in Hadith, yet he do not know how to read one verse in the Quran. All right. So you do not know. Now let me read for you. It says here, and this is Arabic. Innahu laqawlu rasulin kareem. Laqawlu, qawl is the words, not a recitation. Qawl. Yeah. The saying, the statement. It's a saying, it's a say, saying, saying of a... Exactly. This is the saying, this is his own saying. This is not the saying of Allah. So this is the saying of an honored messenger. Who is the one? Who is this messenger who is making Quran? Yeah, but you know, when you say saying, you can also read in the context of like somebody reciting something too. If you read the verse after it, you will see it's confirmed that this is the statement of a messenger. It is not the word of poet. Do you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So... So, the, because they are saying, okay, this guy is trying to make a point. So he's saying, this is not a point. This is an honored messenger statement. So it's confirmed it's not the honored God, which is the honored messenger. Is Allah is a messenger? No. Okay. So the Quran is not the word of Allah. It's the word of a messenger. Who is this messenger? It's not, it's huh? not saying that. This was saying... It's very the words of honorable messenger. Okay, who is the messenger? Saying of a noble saying, messenger. Yeah, exactly. It's the saying. So if it's Allah saying, then we don't say the honorable messenger. The saying of, you say, this is the saying of Allah. This is the saying of God. What it says here in front of you, this is the saying of an honored messenger. 
who is the honored messenger who is making Quran? Like Prophet Muhammad, of course. Okay, that means the Quran is not from Allah, it's from Prophet Muhammad. Thank you very much. So the Quran is not from God. This is why it's stupid and silly. No, it is. It is from God. Okay, hold on. Just to show you, it's stupid. Do you see the verse? Because you are the one who says that we have to read the context. Okay. Yes. Does it say, and he don't swear by what you see? Okay. Hold on. What what translation you are reading? What translation you like? Ah, uh, clear Quran. Huh? The clear Quran. Clear Quran. Yeah. Hmm. Where is that? Let's see if we can find the clear Quran. It's called. Uh, That's funny. I never heard of. Doctor, uh, uh, Doctor Mustafa Khatab. Ah, Mustafa Khatab. Okay, hold on, Mustafa. <laughs> ah, Khatab. Here we go. Khatab. Guys, clear Quran. So now the, this translation will make it clear. Are you sure? Let us see. Okay. And I do swear. I, I uh, now I do swear by whatever you see. Do you see it? Now I do swear by whatever you see. Okay, who is the swearing? Who is the swearing by whatever you see? Where is that? In the same uh, chapter, Mr. Master Degree in Islamic Study. What do you mean? Where is that? The same chapter we are reading. The same verses. Just go a few verses before verse number thirty-eight. Now I do swear by whatever you see. Who is swearing? Allah. Allah, he swear. What kind of God he swear? He swear to who? Like what Allah now is swearing? He's, like, he is, he's, he's huh? teaching the people. What? He's like Quran is not just. Uh, Quran is not just. It's not just a book for. Uh, like it's it's like you're teaching people what teaching people if God himself he is swearing by what we see what does that mean well, he's swearing by what why why God would swear anyway he swear to whom I swear to God because that will make me under penalty of lying if I'm lying when I swear yeah, it's like try so, to say that you know it's the ultimate truth okay so Allah is swearing to his God no he's not swearing to God he's just so it can be like a firm statement too. Okay, hold on. He swear by what you see and whatever you cannot see. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Meaning so now, like if he, so, if, so if when Allah, Allah swear, Allah. okay, hold on. Don't tell me it's like it's like you know. Just uh, hold on. So if I swear by what you see and what you cannot see, I'm accomplishing what exactly? It's like saying that if he was, uh, if he if it wasn't true, then everything should wouldn't exist. What exists? I mean, he is swearing by what we don't see. We don't even know if it exists or not. What are you talking about? Same time, I swear to God. God swear to who? Oh, man, it's swearing. Swearing. Can, it's, it, you don't have to swear like on something. You can be. It's it's like a. It's like an impactful statement. Okay, if I swear, let us say I'm a person who like uh, tomato. If I swear to buy tomato, I'm accomplishing what exactly? You're making a firm statement, like, hey, I like this so much, but I'm like so, that I'm swearing on this. You know, focus with me. I swear by tomato. What does that mean? It means like, like, what are you swearing for? Like, for example, you say, uh, uh, Yani, if you say I like uh, my child. And I no, 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 I did not talk about liking. I said, I swear by tomato. What, how you enter, how you give me, give me interpretation of my statement now. I swear by tomato. So you, you mean, it, it means that you are so firm in your statement that you are willing to destroy that, that, you know, tomatoes. I mean, come on. Destroy it's tomato? Just... What do you mean destroy tomato? I destroy tomato every day. They go to your mouth. They come from your from well, your okay. you, you just say that 
I like tomatoes. If you like it, you wouldn't want to destroy it. Why do you destroy no, something? How I like swear it? by tomato mean I like tomato. How in the world it's that happens? It's a figurative speech, man. Come on. You, uh, you I'm asking you, listen, listen, focus with me. If I say I swear by tomato, I did not mention that I like tomato. No. I said I swear by tomato. I did not use the word like. So, so why? Here, but so why? Why somebody would swear by tomato? Give me a reason. So let's say if you if you were to swear by a tomato, it would first it would not make sense, right? But if you were to do it, please stop. It, 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 ex ex explain. What do you mean doesn't make sense if I say I swear by tomato? Because it's it's insignificant. Obviously, you can swear by your mother. You can swear by your children because you love them so much. So you swear by something you love too much that you are saying that. You know, if I'm wrong, that this thing will be destroyed. So you are right. like impactful statement. Come on. Okay. So you are saying to me that if your God Allah, He said, "I swear by tomato," that does not make sense. If He said, "I swear by tomato," yeah, that would be stupid. Oh, right, thank you very much. But isn't it, this is the Quran saying that Allah swear by fig? Well, show me the words. Man. What do you mean, show me the verse? Remember, you have a master degree. I in history am in Hindi. You did and, not. Uh, you you did not study. You did not study study the history of fig and Islam together, because uh, obviously fig has a great. I, I mean, it's been a long time. I've been teaching children about uh, uh, Islamic, like. Uh, all right. The, like here, the Christian children. Oh, okay. So this is your God. He swear by fig in chapter ninety-five, verse number one. He swear by olive and fig. And you are the one who said to me, that would be stupid, right? Everybody heard you. So Allah Tomato. swear by fig, Allah swear by fig and olive. Hold on. Hmm. What's the, what's the, and, and, yeah, 95? No, this is an, a, a teen. Even the chapter of the name is a fig. This is how crazy your religion is. The name of the chapter is the fig, a teen. Remember, you are the one who said to me, it doesn't make sense to swear by fig, you swear by your mother, by your dad, but not by the tomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now your God himself, he swear by fig and olive. Where did it say I swear by? It says by the fig and the olive. This is swear, I swear. Where's the custom? By, the word by is a swearing. No, by I mean in Arabic it should say uh, like the other one it says custom. No, right? it says there by the you know this one says what teen was zaytun. It's swearing. You can read the interpretation. Read the interpretation the, is just uh, I mean there. Read the read the Arabic. My friend, stop telling me read the Arabic. You do not know Arabic. So if I read Arabic for you, do you know Arabic? No. So why are you asking me to read Arabic? Well, I mean, the word should be there. It's called qasam, right? That's the no, swear. Uh, no, qasam is, is one of the words to swear. When you say, what teen was a tune, you are swearing by the fig and the or, and the oil. Oh, can you show me this context in something else where somebody sweared and they said this word, wa'altin as? My friend, all your Muslim cleric who speak Arabic, big scholars, they say this is about swearing by fig. So don't come and tell me this is not. We can open right now any interpretation. Also, you it's wish. like going forward with like Mount Sinai and all that. You said just the tomato. My friend, just to show you how silly you are. Isn't it the other verse says Allah He swear by what you see and what you don't see? Yeah. Okay. Is tomato is something we see? Yes. Okay. So Allah do Allah swear by tomato or not? Uh, I mean everything, not particularly tomato. Like if you just say no. <laughs> It's even more horrible because now we swear by everything we see. We see shit. We see potato. We see tomato. We see garbage. We see cats. We see rats. We see cockroaches. He's, he's your God. He swear by everything you see and what you cannot see. So now don't tell me that he don't swear by fig. It's confirmed. So it's Allah swear by everything. Speech. Allah swear by everything you see. And the other verse confirmed that your God, Allah swear by fig and olive. Fig, olive, mountains, and all that. Uh -huh. Why Allah swear by fig? You are the one who it's said a, to me. It's a figurative speech. It's like saying that, you know, I, you know, like. Ah, uh, it's, it's a figure of speech. It's a figure of speech. So a minute ago, it was a stupid when I said that to you. If you say, you said only tomato. If he, if it was like 
only by a particular uh -huh. so guys if it's only tomato it's stupid so okay let me add salt tomato and salt that's not stupid now no if you say tomato salt other chemicals everything no that you say yeah, you that's say that's that's you that's said that's you that's swear by something very valuable for you like your mom your yeah, dad you don't swear by it by tomato so what is the value of tomato for allah or fig well it's not saying only fig it's saying it, it's like a it's it's like a, a figurative speech it's like everything that exists you know what like figure fig, is why he is swearing by fig give me the give me the figure of a speech reasoning why i swear by fig what is fig what is the significance for a fig for allah it provide nutrition to the people ah so allah and the arab they share the same tradition both they eat fig what what do you say? Allah he ate fig like us. He like no fig? no no. It's, it's for the people. I mean, he's telling it to the people. Like why I mean, Allah don't swear by fish. okay? Why Allah don't swear by coconut? By what? Coconut. Well, it, it coconut is included. It says seen and unseen. Ah, it's, like it's that included. It's ah. like it's, Allah ah. loves his. So why you said to me? Know. Why you said to me? It's silly to swear by tomato. Because if it's you included. Said particularly tomato. If you said uh, well, here, he, here he said tomato, here be... here he said particularly fig. Well, it says fig and the olive and the mountain. It's like a it's like. Okay, he mentioned he mentioned only three things. Go down. What it says after that. That's it. Okay, speak about. Here we go. He's mentioning the Mount of Sinai, and yes. this is the territory of Sinai. That's it. Okay, and. and go down. What it said okay. after that. That's it. And land. Yeah, the land of Sinai. That's it. So, what does it have to do with God? And why God? He swear by it. Is it like uh, is, is that his God is there? I mean, it's like Arabic. It's why? Like why he don't you. swear? Why he don't swear by the Kaaba? <laughs> which one is more important for it's Allah? For the people. Uh, which know, which one is more important? Okay, which one is more important for the people? Fig or the Kaaba? Kaaba, but it's it's in the context of that that people who are listening to this what, probably what, they like fig. What context? Those are people it's in probably Mecca. Probably they were the ones who were producing fig and olives. So. Those are people in Mecca. They never been in Sinai anyway. And by the way, why he is saying the word wrong? It says Sinai in English. It says Sinin in Arabic. Since when Sinai is Sinin? Sinin have nothing to do with Sinai. Since when? Can we talk same, about Christianity? Same, same time, the word Tur is not Arabic word. You see the word Tur? Since yes. when the word Tur is an Arabic word? Tur is not an Arabic word. This is an Aramaic word. Arabic is, is mixed of different I mean, it's, it's ah, a... So uh, Arabic, you know, Arabic like is mixed. Language. Okay, thank you. So Arabic is mixed. So why the Quran saying this is a pure Arabic if the pure Arabic, Arabic is not is Arabic? Pure Arabic is a mixed language. It's, it's, pure I mean, Arabic is a mixed language? Has, for, example, guys, for example... Hold on, hold on. Guys, did you hear this? Pure Arabic is a mixed language. That's mean the word pure is false. <laughs> no, no. Let me tell you. For example, Hindi, right? We don't have word for bridge. We don't have word for guitar. So we use English words because those are not existent. In, no in, problem. In, in, but in, when you say this is a pure Arabic, and then you say to me that Arabic is never exist as Arabic, it's a mixed language. This is well, so you can say. So you cannot is. say. So you cannot say it's a pure Arabic because simply the word the pure does not fit it's not even there there's no pure arabic that, that, i mean if the word doesn't exist in arabic then what would you want to what do you want to be so used? are you saying to me allah he could not find the word in arabic to use it so he have to borrow words from other languages it's, i yet, mean all languages are the same they're no like, okay hold on so when allah he took words from other languages does that yes. make the Quran clear or any clear? It makes the Quran complete. So some words. No, uh, that, focus uh, with me. Does it make the Quran clear or any clear? Makes it clear. Okay. So I want to ask you to tell me what is the first verse in chapter thirty-six, verse number one. I got a search hold on. Hmm. Thirty-six. You said. Yeah. See. Thirty-six. Yes, yeah. What is the first verse mean? Yeah. Remember, you remember, you are the one who said to me, it's make it clear. So I have to go with you now. It's clear. So now the clear Quran, and now Allah is borrowing words from other languages. How that clear to you? Give me the answer. What that word mean? 
Yasin. What does that mean? Yasin is said to be uh, like certain words are put there to protect them from. Really? It's yeah, a certain uh, word. It's a what, what, what? It's a certain word. I'm asking yeah, you what the word is. Like listen, listen, listen. You said to me, you said to me that when Allah He borrow words from other languages that make the Quran clear. What that word mean? If it's clear, go ahead. Yasin. Yeah. Yasin is not from any language that exists on the earth. No, it is. The Muslim scholars agree that this is a Syriac word. What what it means like uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah is a word meaning God. Sin is the moon god. That is your okay, god. Show me show me what what uh, what scholar says that he's saying moon god. Yeah moon. I mean god, moon god. Where no, we know that? we know that yeah is a word mean god and sin is the name of the god. No, like you said, Islamic scholar agree to that. Where does, okay. Where do they Muslim scholars they say wrong information. They agree that this is an Aramaic word, but they claim that it's mean a human, which doesn't make sense. So here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. He said that this is the word from the Syriac language. Do you see it? And I can't read it to you. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Abbas saying the Creator glorified mentioned he asked. It's, it's his, his, it's his understanding. It's not like 100% because humans are in. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, who cares about they, his understanding, your understanding? You Muslims are really crazy. You told me that when Allah, he borrow a word from other languages, still the Quran is so clear. But now what you just said, that his understanding is wrong. So obviously the Quran is not clear to the point oh, that the cousin, hold on, to the point the cousin of Muhammad himself, he got the meaning wrong. And now you do not know what it means. So now tell me, as long as the Quran is so clear, yeah. how come each one of you have different answer for the same word? Because there are certain, I mean, if we didn't in Quran actually says that certain words are not to be, they're there to, it's like a protection against, uh, you know, like how other books were corrupted, like Bible. Ah, so now if we have this word there, nobody can corrupt the Quran no more. Yeah, it's to protect it from... <laughs> Jesus hold on, hold on. How in the how in the word that works? So if you put Yasin there, so if I take this word now and I put it in the Bible, nobody can corrupt the Bible. <laughs> no, no, no. Like it, it, it's like uh, um, I mean, it's what what do you mean? Like it's not that. It's it's, it's how it's uh, device. <laughs> you Muslims are really funny. Hey, by the way, I have four books. I decide from now on to take the word Yasin and put it in the beginning of every book of mine. Why? Because I don't want anyone to steal my books or corrupt them forever. I just put Yasin. It's, it's a protection. I mean, it's, protection. It's, it's a metaphorical matter. matter. Ah, metaphorical of what? Go ahead. I mean, it's li li listen, you do. You know, you know, you know the funny thing about you. You keep saying to me, I mean, when you mean nothing, because you keep saying to me, you keep jumping from place to place. A second ago, it was its protection. A second after, it's a metaphorical. I ask you what metaphorical of what? You do not know. So how no, do metaphorical, you... What? Metaphorical. Metaphorical of what? Okay, yes, yes is metaphorical and, of what? Alif, Blam, Mim, those are metaphorical matter. It's like it's protection against Satan, against... Uh, where, where, you get the word protect, where do you get the word protection from? Can you show me? That's what we studied, you know. Okay, don't tell me you study. Tell me where you get it from. I never heard anyone saying... That the word Yasin is protection. That is new. I want I want you to give me the name of the idiot who gave you this information. That's actually and, all uh, India. Like that's what you will hear. Don't tell me India. Listen, you are lying, my friend. I don't want to. No, wanna, no, no, no. I don't no, want to. No, no, I don't want to be rude for you. I don't want to be rude to you. You are my guest. But when you mention something, get me busted and show me the reference. When I mention something to you, I show you reference. So don't tell me in India because in India they have to come to come to my land, Arabia. To get to the reference, so no, I am no, an Indian, so I am an Arab. I, listen, the, I am an Arab. I studied a lot Islam. Of Pakistani and Indian listen, listen. I don't care if you are Pakistani or Indian. That's not the question. Still, you have to bring your reference from the Arabic books. Now, give me the reference from hold your on, prophet. Hold on, okay, hold on. okay, I'm holding. Okay. Well, like Pakistanis and Indians, a lot of them, like the Muslims, they are the real Arabs. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Pakistani or there. See, guys, I told you, I, how many times I told you those Arabs are from Pakistan? Nobody believe me. <laughs> anyway, 
And yeah, they why, migrated. This is why always we put our hands in our in our nose. You know, they, you see the Arab guys always they are digging for information in their nose. Do you want to open the camera so you can show us? Because me myself, I'm digging my nose right now. Are you? Did you want to join me in the club of nose? Uh, your prophet himself, he used to dig his nose and take boogers and he put it in his pocket. But anyway, we can talk about it later. So now give me the reference. What you see me? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's oh. talk about something else while I'm looking at the reference. What do you mean talk about something else? You're trying to change the topic? Uh, no, no, I'm looking and we'll go back to it. But okay, how many, how many, how okay, many, you are looking, how many years is going to take you to, how many years is going to take you to find it? Less than a year. Ah, so in a year from, so you want to talk about the treaty until the coming year? We can. Ah, it shouldn't okay. take that long. Okay, let's talk about the Trinity. So why Allah, when he starts the Quran, he says, in the name of Allah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Why three? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh -huh. Why three? Because he's saying Allah is giving his qualities. It's like in the name of Allah, most gracious. So the uh, quality Rahim, of Allah. Okay, so the quality of Allah is in number three, you are saying to me. Coincidence, yes. Ah, why the quality of Allah will be affected if it's only two or one? What you said? Huh? What? Can you repeat that? Okay. I ask you why Allah, he say three, he described himself in a three description. You said to me that this is the quality of Allah coming in a three things. Why is No, no, it's not quality of Allah to come in in three things. It's like a saying is the most gracious Rahim and he's the most Rahman. And those are the qualities. It's just, what the, just well, okay, hold telling on. you first if of all, you read this. He's first, of, first of all, where is the word most in the Quran? Can you show me? No, I mean Rahman. What, what is what is Rahman? What Rahman is, Rahim? is not is not the most. Rahman means merciful. Yeah. Okay. Where is the word most? Why are you Muslims? Are the word? You see, you said to me that you Muslim you preserve the Quran and even the word Yasin preserve the Quran. But look what you did. You just add the word most. It's not there. No, there is no most. Like okay, how the word Rahman became the most? Do you see the word most merciful? Ar Rahman is merciful. Most is coming from where? No, Rahman is, is, but Ar Rahman, the merciful, you know. My friend, okay, the merciful, but it says the, you, you in the, your translation, this translation you choose for me. It says most. Is the word most in the Arabic or not? It's I just it's not there, but it's understood. Ah, so it is not there. So you Muslims, you did not corrupt the Quran, but you are adding words Allah never said. Now let's go back it's to zero. Understood. Okay, no problem. So uh, now Allah is saying in the name of Allah. Don't you think this is the most stupid statement to say in the name of Allah? He's Allah. No, because Quran is for human beings to read. I don't it's care. Like, Allah still Allah is talking. Don't, if Allah, okay, okay. Listen, I want to ask you this. Don't listen, you sometimes say no, Christian Prince does this? No, I never say such a Christian well, prince you, because I, I have your no, videos that, you. that would be stupid to say Christian prince says that if I'm Christian prince. <laughs> yeah, you do say that sometimes, like I no. heard it myself. No, I don't say that. Or like this is Christian Prince friends, like you know, something like this. No, I say at the end, this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you for today. Thank you very much. That's all. I don't say in the name of Christian Prince. So how your God is talking, he say in the name of Allah, but he's Allah. For there are two reasons. Number one is that uh -huh. he's Allah, he's not human being. So what he well, does I, that's even more that is even more stupid because well, I'm going he, to... oh, no, hold on. If he is Allah, he doesn't say in the name of Allah. Is Allah is Allah is a name or not? It's a name. No, no, Allah is not a name. It's a. Ah, it's huh? like even pre 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 Islamic Arabia. You okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just a God. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's Allah. Like hold on, hold on. I mean, who is the stupid here? Why it says in the name of Allah if it's not a name? <laughs> so why are you adding the word name? I mean, what do you what do you think Bismillah means? Hold on. Don't tell me what do you think. You just said it's not a name. So why the stupid Allah saying in the name of Allah if it's not a name? I mean, you know English, right? When no, you no say I don't know English. Name. I don't know English. Don't change the topic. If Allah is not a name, so why Allah say in the name of Allah if Allah is not a name? In the name doesn't mean you're 
Ah, in the name does not mean it's a name. Ah, so we say in the name, but it's not a name. We say in, uh, what, I mean, is, this is the book, the clear book. So now you are confused. So, so okay, what is the name of your God? Okay, hold on. So you are saying to me, Allah is not, it's not a name. So what is the name of your God? He doesn't have a name per se. Allah does not have a name. So why are you Muslim? You say there's no Allah, there's no God but Allah. If there's, it's not a name. You recognize the one who revealed Quran is the listen, one. That's why it gives all these. Now listen, listen, the listen. If, if it's not a name, if the word Allah, uh, if, okay, what what the word Allah mean? It's like how Jesus was like praying. No, 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 don't don't tell me. It's, it's like how I'm asking you. What is the word Allah mean? It's it's like derived from the. Don't tell me like. Allah. Don't tell me like. Tell me what the word Allah mean. It's derived from Allah. Don't from... tell me like. Don't tell me like. What is the word Allah mean? Allah itself. It has the root. Don't tell me root. God. What the word Allah mean? Give me a straight answer. What is the, the word Allah of mean? The whole universe. What Allah mean? The maker of the whole universe. The Allah, make the, Allah make the Allah mean the maker of the universe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's coming from Elan. Hey, 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 just take a hike, man. I don't have time for kids. I mean, the maker of the universe. And he have a master degree, and he's a sheikh, and he have a studio, and you know, the guy want to call me and debate me. What a potato. Now Allah make, Allah, the word Allah mean the maker of the universe. Are you sure? That's new. Look like we have a new religion. Pakistan. Yeah, and he told me I'm a sheikh. You know, I'm serious. He told me yesterday he's a sheikh. And he even he opened the camera. He have a studio. He have like a TV. And no, though, this guy he have, look, call me, call me uh, busy. Uh, I will call you later. I'm a sheikh. You know, I'm a sheikh. Oh, okay. Uh, he's a sheikh. He opened the camera. He have a big, big, huge microphone in the size of my, uh, of, 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 of my bed, man. And that the, should see the table. Unbelievable, you know. Yeah, the guy, I'm shake. What a potato. You are a shake. You don't even know what Allah means. So they want to talk about Trinity. And then you find that the first thing the Quran starts with is Trinity. Three. Why? If Islam is against the Trinity, why Allah Himself, He chosen to present Himself with a three why can't Allah with his intelligence present himself with one description is the language not helping him he's calling back I'm losing my patience with you okay you know what I will let you speak to me if you open your camera I want to show them your studio I like it I don't want to reveal my then that was an accident Ah, an accident. <laughs> yeah, by the way, as long as it's an accident, let us talk about it. Is that okay if we talk about accident? Well, we were talking about Trinity. You now you're Yeah, yeah, we were talking about it. You do not give me the answer. Obviously, you do not know what Allah means. So let us talk about, so, let us talk about okay. accident. Let us talk about accident. So when Allah, he sent his angel Jibreel to Muhammad. Was it an accident that Jibreel he squeezed him three times? He didn't squeeze him, he shook him. Like no, no, make him no, play. no, he squeezed him three times. Remember, we're talking about Trinity. So look at the religion. Allah, he starts with, with three names. Angel came to Muhammad, he squeezed him three times. He said to him, read it three times. Is that correct? Like I say, three, three has a significance in it. No, 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 don't tell me how significant. You tell me, tell me why, why three? I thought you Muslims are religion of oneness. Because it's what Allah's will. Okay, now Allah will. So that means there is something serious about number three. So why when Muhammad, he become a prophet, he could not be activated as a prophet except, is it like maybe the angel who was squeezing him saying, in the name of God, the father, first time, then he squeezed him in the name of God, the son, second time and then he squeezed he squeezed him in the name of the holy spirit third time otherwise holy tell me is hold on oh, don't don't go there now why he squeezed him three time if three time is not part of islam 
because three has a significance, I mean, an atom is made up of uh, neutron, proton, and, and electron. Really? Neutron and proton? Is that what Allah said? No. Allah, he said, well, he I'm created... Three Listen, has don't tell me neutron, neutron and butron. Your God do not even know the, the, the difference between booger and sugar. So listen, in the Quran, Allah created Adam from dust and water only. Don't make things up. Water has three uh, atoms in it too. Okay, so are you are, are you confirming the Trinity right now? Because all no, the Trinity, I'm saying just... Allah it designs. It's no, no, thing. no. Okay, Allah designed everything with the Trinity. That's mean the Trinity is the fingerprint of God. Everything is three. Now let's he, go back. Let us go back. Let us go. Let us go back to zero. You heard about when, golden ratio? Okay, hold on, hold on. When, when, when your prophet been squeezed three times. Uh -huh. What happened to your prophet after three he times? Squeeze. Squeezing? He shook him three times. No, he squeezed him. I insist. Oh my God. All right. Oh, we'll, we'll go. No, we'll don't go tell there. me. Oh my God. Don't say that. Say, Oh my Allah. Ya Allah. Okay. So now the prophet been squeezed three times. What happened after three times squeezing? He shook him three times to. Did you say he shook? He shook him. Shook him. What yes. does that mean? What do you mean she shook him three times? You don't know what shook, like shake. No, no, I do not so. What, what, oh, he shake him? Yeah. Uh, I used to have those things, you know, like you have a hole, you put uh, you put coins on them. <laughs> so you keep shaking it, shaking it, until one coin come down. Why Why the angel was sh uh, shaking the prophet? To, like, uh, make him, it's like uh, um, awareness. I mean, it's not like, it's not like a type of shaking when you uh, shake a person. It's more like, you know, hey, I'm here. Oh, he am here. I mean, the guy in the front of him, you don't need to shake him. Because he did not know what he's actually uh, seeing. I mean, you know that stuff, man. Does it Come say, on. does it Moses say that, had... does it say, you said to me, <laughs> he did not squeeze him. Did it say that he could not even breathe your prophet when he, when he starts squeezing him? Yes or no? It's not like, see, what, like if you see a ghost, right? Or if uh, you see some kind of... But, but the uh, ghost, but okay, did he see a ghost or he saw a man? He saw a a, a body that he did not recognize. He got, he got scared first. What I do you mean, mean a body? Did he see normal. a man? Did he see a man or a body? What do you mean body? He saw a spirit. No, I mean, he saw a man. Is it a Holy Spirit? Ah, but what this not what it says. A man he came to him and he squeezed him a tree time. And now, after Jibril, he squeezed your prophet three time. What happened to your prophet? He become the squeezer? No, he 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 got he he like got the wahi. He got what? Wahi. What got wahi? I mean, he can't he give him wahi without squeezing the guy? You have to. I mean, see, we don't know how it works, man. Come on. I mean. No, no, we know how it works. It says it clearly. He squeezes him to the point he can't even breathe. But we don't know how Allah, like, does, like, give wahi to people. You know that. Ah, well, we do Musa not know. Actually. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So now the Prophet. Islam is started with three squeezing. Allah he talk with three description. Mary she fasted for three days. Zechariah did not talk for three days. A Muslim man he divorced his wife three times. What is up with this number three? A Muslim man he a Muslim man he do a Muslim man he do oh, shut up. A Muslim man he do a Muslim man he do ablution. He have to wipe his face, his hands three times. Why three? I told you Allah has preference for three. Why? I mean, it's His will. Ah, so why you question the will of the God of the Christians? See here, all you Muslims are hypocrite. The the three is all over your religion. Everything is number three, and then the second we question you, you say it's His will. Okay, so why you question the Trinity of Christianity? If this is God will, God will is to be three and one at the same time. How come you question it here? Because you don't Allah says He is one. He's okay, God. hold on. First of all, you said to me, Allah, he said his one word, he said that. That's false. doesn't say one. It says ahad. Ahad means one off. No, ahad means like... No, ahad means one off. Type the word ahad in the search. Ahad means one. Listen, no. 
Okay, واحد mean one. Thank you very much. واحد me me one. Ahad mean one of. I will type the word ahad for you in the in the search engine of your website. And here it says ahad. All those verses it says ahad. All of them, if you click at any of them, ahad mean one of. Chapter two, verse one or two. It appeared twice actually. Chapter two, verse one thirty six. Chapter two, verse eighty five. Ch uh, two eighty two eighty five. Chapter three, verse number thirty seven. Chapter three, verse number eighty four. Chapter three, verse one fifty three. Chapter four, verse number forty three. Chapter four, verse one fifty two. Chapter five, verse six six. Chapter seven, verse number eighty. Chapter What's nine, verse number one? six. Chapter shut up. Chapter nine, verse number eighty four. <laughs> chapter nine, What's verse twenty seven. So all of those it says I had mean one off. I mean, do the translation of nine eighty four. All of them, okay, nine ninety four. Nine eighty four. Doesn't matter. I had mean one off. So you must have your lie when you say I had mean one. Because I had mean one off. This is Arabic, pure Arabic, supposed to. So why people translate it as? Uh... Because they are Muslims, and Muslims are potatoes, and we are here to fry them, and that's why we are frying you. Are you telling me why? If all the Quran have the word I had all over and mean one off, how in the word only in that place mean one, not one off? It's a fabrication. So you're stupid, no, I mean, prophet. Hold on, going... hold on. You're a prophet. He took this phrase from the Bible. O oh, Israel, your God is Echad. This is Ahad. Echad. Echad does not mean one as a person. Echad means a unity. This is why you Muslim, you believe in Tawheed. Is that correct? Can you repeat that? Do you believe in Tawheed? Tawheed, yeah. Of course. What the, okay, but isn't it Tawheed is unifying? It, it, it's even in, in like Old Testament. No, your no, no. God hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, Old Testament. Thank you. So now, if Allah is one, why you are saying unifying Allah? How you can unify or unite Allah if He is one? He's what? Yes. I said He is one. No, no. You said you believe in Tawheed. Tawheed yes. means unifying. Unifying. If He is already one, you do not unify. Someone is already one. I don't get it. But you would never get it because you are Abdul. If he is one, how I say I believe in Tawheed? Tawheed mean unifying. Like I will make a sentence for you in Arabic. Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya. Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya mean unifying the Arabian state. Okay. So Arabian state now well, he, are he, he, oh, Unification or union? Unification. Thank you very much. So Tawheed mean unification. So how Allah is one, but you believe in unification of Allah? Allah is a. Uh, I mean, it's the the thing is what you're asking me is as if Allah is a person. It's not. He's more. It's like a. It's something that doesn't exist in our universe. So Allah, uh, thank you very much. I, I agree that's with why, you. That's why I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Allah has never exists in our universe. He is not exist. It's, it's, a, it's just a lie. Hold on. You see, Europe or your God, he keeps saying we. Why Allah he called himself we? What do you say? Why Allah he keeps saying we? Well, that's, I mean, that's a, that's an easy one. That's a... Uh, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. People, take a note. This is a very easy one. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you swear by fake that this is very easy? This is easy. Yes. All right, guys, take a note. He is sure this is easy. Why Allah? He says we. If it's so easy, go ahead, tell us. It's a uh, like how royal people speak too. They say we. Ah. It's like speaking of authority. Ah, so you are saying to us. That your God, he found that he will not look good if he say I, so he like himself to be fake we. So he no, said no, it's we. Fake. It's fake. Is it? Is he one or many? I mean, his power is equal to. Who care about his power like, now? Okay, his his power is one power. Is it many power? It's one power. So why he? Hold on. Why he say we? You are the one who said like royalty, but royalty they speak in the name of the noble. That's why they say we. 
like we the queen and the nobles we say the following so it's a fake uh, you know as your god allah is your again unifying a kingdom and he is just the head of the kingdom chosen by the noble who they are you just like him all the existence of the universe no no that's not a question if allah is one yeah when he say we isn't it this is a fake we or it is a true we I mean, it's, it's not like he's saying that he is a lot of them. It's, it's just a, it's like when a, when, a, when a person of authority speaks, it's like your parents speaking to you. They're going to speak in a certain way to ah. you. So Allah, he found that his authority is shaky if he say I. No, okay, so why he, you are the one who said to me, he chosen we to yes. make himself like royal. So no, no, he, not like royal. He is more than royal. So we. No, is no, he is not. He is not. He chose him the same as royal. You are the one who chose that word, not me. He's more than royal. It's not. It's like. If he is more, more than, than royal, than, then he will not I mean, be. Okay. If he example, is not. Why do you if say he? he if if he is, if he is more than royal, he do not need to copy the royal. You don't copy someone is less than you. You copy nobody if you are higher your yeah, god exactly. is it's you exactly it's you who chose to me to say like lawyer or lawyer or, or royals because simply he is copying the royal so he is copying someone lower than him because he don't feel good if he say we if you don't if you don't say we it's not right so allah he say it's we a, it's a weak point like come on i mean okay so what okay if okay, say, okay if mister high, then you listen say, listen like, oh, okay no no just to tell you so it's a weak point that because Allah is weak, because if Allah is confident about himself being higher than royal, yes. you do not need a stupid word in Arabic to make himself equal to law. You know, so you, know. you would say you would say if you were if you were to like talk to Allah, you would say, why did you say we? Why didn't you say I? Do you think that's good like argument? I don't believe in no, you. No, it's not a good argument me. because you cannot talk to Allah as nobody. But look, hold on. So so what do you say now? Like Allah, when he say we, is trying to be like royal. What about when he say, if we would like to take a wife, we will take it from ourself, us. Yeah, that's an easy, that's an easy one. Too. Ah, easy. Who is us? Go ahead. First off, he was like mocking Christians. Ah, he is mocking. That's a good one. So he was mocking himself. Making fun of you guys. He's making no. fun of your idea. No, and he is he saying joking. if no, he said if we would like to take a yeah. partner, a wife, we will take it from us. So yeah, if yeah, Allah yeah. is one, who is us? He's just joking. <laughs> he is making fun of you. He is joking. Allah, the joker. Nice to meet you, Allah. Since when Allah he practiced the profession of a joker in the circus? No, like he's mocking you. He's saying that. You know, you in, are, in a mocking you, way. That no, that's he is not. God no, he is mind. not mocking. Respect your God, please. He is mocking himself because he didn't say ha 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 ha. He says, had we intended to take someone as a partner, we have taken it from us. Yeah. Okay. Us who? Like I said, this is just a mockery of people who think that you know okay. that God would. Reproduce. Are you making mockery of your God, giving false interpretation? Because nobody not in the Quran. Okay. That's not, how it is. I mean, you can. Nobody. Read, you can, you okay. Can, you can, All right. Listen. Give me the interpretation of one person says this is a mockery. Hold on. Let me search. Uh huh. Do you want one year or two years? No, one year should be enough. Okay. Okay, if you could not find the interpretation you are saying, do you promise me to open your camera? I want to show people how, how big your office, man. Shake, I uh, want to reveal my identity, man. I was just so, trying to... So sound. are Somebody you saying to me you. your name, Abdul Hamid, is a fake, and this image, this picture is a fake image, right? Yes. Yeah. Because I saw, the one I saw in the camera, it wasn't this guy in the screen. Yeah, somebody recommended me to come and talk to you why you don't want to rec uh, reveal your image do you think you will lose your because career i teach little children i don't want them to uh see me talking ah. <laughs> how little the children how little 12 years 
How little children yes. 12, 12 years your prophet he married Aisha at the age of six what do you mean little children respect yourself those are mature those it are very back old then it was... ah back then back then what do you do uh -huh. yeah it was now it's considered wrong because you ah. know, you can <laughs> okay so now show me the interpretation saying that Allah was making mockery yeah hold on man you kind of distracted me <laughs> and how <laughs> And how that would be funny because Allah is saying, I will take our partner from ourselves, but there is no other ourself. Who is our, who's us? Who's ourself? Allah is going to F himself. Like I said, that's just a, that's just a joke. Okay, hold on. If I show you the interpretation from your scars, what do you do? You, are you willing to jump? Do it's their dance? interpretations. No, I will show you interpretation from all the scars you wish. All of them, they got your prophet busted. It says that he said, if you would like to F a female, this female, she will be from the whore or the angels. Yes yeah, or no? That's a, that's a mockery. That's like making fun of you. No, he didn't say mockery. He said, if we had, why you are adding things is not there. I mean, the interpretation is there. Never say it's a mockery. You are making things up. I have to go and I will uh, talk to you later. What do you, what do you mean you want to go? Are you making a mockery of yourself now? <laughs> no, I'm not making mockery of myself. No, no you to... are making a mockery. It says, had we worship, had we decide to, wor to, to take a partner, to F her, we will take her from the black-eyed hoary or yeah, the angels. Your I mean, you God, can, you can hear the, listen, the listen, sarcasm. your it's God, sarcasm. your God is going to have sex with Jibreel. No, this is sarcasm. This is all right. Sarcasm. No, here we go. Read with me. It says, uh, the Siro ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, said, He said, If we had wished to have a pastime, if we wished to have a daughter, and it says to me to wish to have a wife, also say this means if we wish to have a children, we have found it in our presence, Allah, from us, from among the medians. So the yeah, medians that's are. A joke. No, this is not a joke. This is serious. Why you are saying joke? Respect yourself. Sh shame How do you on know me. this is serious? Like, do you sound it sounds serious to you that God will find from the maidens of paradise? See, of did, did you see? Man. Did you see anywhere it says this is a joke? Read carefully again. This is Tafsir al Had we desire to have some diversion, which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed Horis or yeah. the angels. Is that a joke? Yeah. Yeah, that's a mock. This he's mocking you. He's being sarcastic. Mr. Sarcastic. You don't want to reveal my identity because I teach it children. <laughs> the funny, stupid monotheism. Does God, if you want to take a partner, he will take it from us. <laughs> and now the Abdul, the scholars, they try to find what the heck. So we have to cover this us thing. And now they look, okay, who's there? Who's with Allah? So they found the median woman. I mean, but those are women. Allah will F a woman. That's mean Allah is a man. Or an angel. Allah will F the angels. So the Muhammadan could not and this could not explain the stupidity of the Arabic Quran better than this. But in Arabic is so clear. لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهون لتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. If we have chosen to take a partner to F, we will take it from our kind. If we are doing that, so who is our kind? If Allah is one. And you know, remember, in order to take a partner, the partner have to be equal. Like, you don't marry a dog to a horse. They have to be from the same family, same kind, right? So who is the partner who fit to be with Allah and Allah call it us, which means his kind? So the stupid Muhammad is a certified donkey, like all of you Muslims. You try to duct tape you're a prophet. The whole idea is about how to duct tape Muhammad. 
you keep putting duct tape, duct tape, duct tape to the point nobody can see his face. The duct tape religion. The whole idea of monotheism in Islam is silly stupid. However, we are monotheists, not you. Isn't it Jesus says me and my, the Father is one? Is that correct, guys? We don't have many gods. We have one God. Isn't it Jesus says the one who saw me, he saw the Father? So Trinity simply is not about three gods. It's about God in three person. And if God cannot be three and one at the same time, well, he can't be God. Because who is going to tell God what he can be, what he cannot? He's almighty. The word almighty means he can be wherever he wants. The Bible makes it so clear. Nothing is impossible with God. So if your God cannot be three and one, that's because your God is a potato. My God, he can. My God, he can resurrect people from death. My God, the Messiah, according to Mufti Mink, he waved his hands. He just waved his hands. And thousands of people, they are healed. Just waving the hand. You're a prophet. He waved his hands. Women disappear. <laughs> Children kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to make a final word about this uh, monotheism thing. We don't really accept religion or reject religion because they are monotheist or not. That's even silly. We don't accept if the God is a stupid or the, the one they worship is, an, is this just silly idea. You know, the Hindus, they have a 35 million God. But they claim that they have one God who those three 35 million God belong to him. So we don't reject Hinduism because they are having one God or three 35 million. No, this is not the reason. But because Hinduism is stupid. Elephants, rats, cats, whatever, you know. There's a group of people who worship Satan. They call themselves satanic. And they worship one God. His name is Satan. They are monotheist. Is that correct, guys? Those who worship Satan, they are monotheist. But how in the world that make you having a true God? So when the Muslims speak about themselves, we are monotheist. This is very silly. Well, Satan is monotheist too. There's many false religion. They are monotheist. The question is, if the God is true or not, otherwise he's one, he's two, he's seven, who am I to decide? If God is true, is exists, if, if, there is, if there is a, you know, like this, uh, the, the, the Greek legion, legions about the Titan gods. Hmm? If those are true, then they are true. What we can do about it? If they are exist, they are exist. <laughs> Correct? So it's not about the numbers. It's about if it's true story, it's true person, or not a true. <clears throat> anyway, so I hope today we have a good time. And, uh, you know, like we spoke about the wolf inside you, you can go back from the beginning and listen to it if you are interested. And I hope what I said today can help you to, you know, to fight uh, within yourself, you know, to control what can be bad for you and to control even what can be good to you because sometimes uh, good things still have to be controlled you know like let us say you are a person who like who love to give you know and then you know you, you decide to give everything you own that's not right so you have to be smart you don't give everything it's like i have seeds and now there's somebody is hungry. So what I do, I give all the seeds I have to this person. He eat it. No, 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 this is wrong. You have to keep some seeds for the farming season so you can seed more and harvest way more. So even when you do good, you have to have a balance. Christ 
is the Lord of wisdom. And those who follow him, they are the wise one. So always we should seek wisdom, even when we do good. For doing good with foolishness can be destruction. You don't open your door for someone who is a rapist. Just because he looks like he is hungry. You have to be careful. As the Lord, he says, they come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So we as a Christians, we are followers of the Messiah, the Lord of the wisdom. We are not the same as those Abduls who still believe there is a God who will give us endless penis. So they go in the field like wolves and they want to bite everybody. That will not make you anything but the dog. So you see those dogs of Hamas screaming, Allahu Akbar. I mean, what victory you brought yourself? You brought shame. You are a rapist. You are a disgusting creature. And then because their religion is religion of hatred and bloody hatred, they praise the rapist. This is how evil Islam is. If those are one of us and they are rapists, we would spit on them. You don't serve God by raping women. You don't serve God by cutting the breast of a woman when she is alive. You torture her when you are raping her. You are just a dog. The Messiah, he restore our humanity within ourselves. The main purpose of the Messiah to come to us is to make us a human again, for we lost our humanity. We became evil. Through history, human being is evil. Country take over country, country control country, people kill people, people rape people, people steal the money of other people, and always they justify everything they do. Always the excuse is ready. With the Messiah, we are able to control the beast within us. However, remember one thing. You are allowed to be a lion when it is time to be a lion. Which means, when a beast comes to your door to rape your wife, to kill your family, to take over you, then you should use your teeth. For that beast, understand the language of beast only. And you have a duty to protect yourself. So you will be the Lion of Judah. You are peaceful, yes. Loving, yes. But what it's come to defend and rescue the weak. Defend the weak. You must turn yourself into a lion. And you rip the beast apart to rescue the weak, to rescue the women, to rescue the children. Christianity does not teach you to be a coward. Christ will not welcome you in heaven if you are a coward. The man who witnessed a crime and he do nothing to stop it, he is partner of it. And that is not us. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, God is good, so is Jesus. And please feel free to watch the video from the beginning about the wolf inside you. God bless. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. And by the way, thank you for not even making a comment. Thank you for not sharing the link. I mean... From their fruits, you shall know them. I do my part. And then you will see somebody, he is making silly, stupid video. He have a 100,000 view. And us who spend our time doing our best to teach and share, lose my vision looking at the stupid screen, we got no support. We don't want your donation. Don't donate. At least make a comment. It doesn't cost you money. At least share a link. It doesn't blood in you. 
fake people i'm sick of you from their fruits you shall know them not my words it is his thank you all.